Right, afternoon everyone. For the last few hours I've been uh, experimenting with lead seals. Yeah. That's, uh, that's an original one, that one. And all them are my ones. Right. What I done was, to make my own, I found myself some steel piping, which is a bank stick. Uh, afternoon James. An old bank stick, but for them that don't know what a bank stick is, it's a bit of metal you stick in the ground because we're too lazy to hold it. And as you can see, if you can see properly, I just ground the outside of it. Uh, so it's all, it's fairly sharp. And that produced me, yeah. This is roofing lead. Uh, and uh, build a little hole in the middle. Uh, that's the uh, original one. It's got a bigger hole in it, but it doesn't actually make any difference. Right. About the same size. But what I like to do is ream out the internal diameter and not the external. Because it just needs to be made slightly bigger. That is just slightly too small. And to make it a bit wider in diameter, I've had to give it a couple of taps on the um, flat bit of wood or stone just to spread it out a bit more. All right, as you can see, there's no leaks. That's where the lead goes. I'll show you on that one. That's where it goes. It goes in that hole there, and that just goes on there, like that, and it just seals it. But these go into boxes and you're forever undoing that nut there to make it smaller. These things come out. They, they come out like that. But I'm getting there. I'll, I'll use this one. Because right. the lead actually ends up in there, the, the lead disc. I'll stick that in there. Right, as you can see. And just give it a tap down and it pops it out like that magic oh and uh, that's today's loaf of bread I made a couple of hours ago all right oh that's the um, mess holder that goes on there like that as you can see on this one yeah but I use that most of the time it's a lot easier they just fits on like that and you just oh, pull it off, job done. All right. So, I've actually done something. I, I, it took me about four hours altogether to work out how to do it and find all the bits and pieces. All right, now to switch it off. That's it. Blow it out. That's the thing there, leave that open because if I close that up, the pressure inside will force all the power thing out and it go all over the place. Alright, uh, that's about it really. Alright, right. thanks James for watching, you're the only one who's bored enough to watch me. And now the scary bit. Alright. Uh, my dog had an accident yesterday he tried to jump up a, four, a two foot wall and he mis misjudged it and he hit it and we all started laughing because he did hit it rather hard <laughs> he's now limping around like a, a three legged dog um, you know I think he's just bruised his leg hopefully but it was quite funny when he hit it he, he has jumped up it before but he just missed his um, footing on it this time and there's a few people around and <laughs> they all laughed. Yeah, but you've got loads of cuddles and stuff, but he's alright. Alright, no problems. Alright, see you later then. Bye.